Howdy, and welcome to Tie-Dye Tuesday with the LGBTQ Plus Pride Center. My name's Ben, and I'm gonna uh, show you how to tie-dye a t-shirt. All right, so here's the stuff you're gonna need. You're gonna need some rubber bands, some uh, latex gloves, a paper towel, a bowl of water, your two dye colors, which you should probably put in like a plastic water bottle with a hole poked in the top. I just didn't have any, so we're using solo cups, a t-shirt, and then also a plastic grocery bag or a Ziploc bag. All right, today I'm gonna to be dyeing this shirt in a spiral pattern, but you are free to look online to find other patterns to use. When I'm doing this, I'm gonna take my hand, I'm gonna put it in the middle, and I'm gonna kind of pinch up some of it. Then I'm gonna twist it, twist it, twist it until it's nice and tight in a spiral kind of pattern. I'm gonna make sure the rest of the shirt is also nice and tight in this spiral. Then I'm gonna take my rubber bands and I'm gonna band it up. So that means stretching the rubber bands across the entire spiral, making sure to keep it nice and tight. Um, this is to secure the pattern on the shirt. So here's what my shirt looks like all bundled up. You can kind of see all the bands going through one point. That's so I can section out each of my colors. I should have two colors, uh, which I've already mixed together in my bowl. But before we get to that, we're gonna dunk this shirt into this water. It's gonna help absorb the dye a little better, okay? To fully submerge it, kind of let, let it get soaked a little bit, and then just wring the water out. Okay. After you've soaked your shirt, you're going to want to put it on the piece of paper towel and put your gloves on. The paper towel is so the dye doesn't run off and you don't mix colors in places that you don't want to mix colors. All right. Now that I have my gloves on, that's so I don't stain my hands with these dyes, I have my red in this hand and my blue in this hand, and we're going to start pouring it onto the shirt. Now, if you use a plastic water bottle, it's going to be way more precise, but I'm just kind of going to go for it. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Cool. Now I'm going to add some blue. I'm trying to be precise, as precise as I can, but, oh, but it is just kind of going for it. If you mix these colors, you know, they'll probably get some of the, some purple action going. All right, once we saturate one side, you're gonna wanna flip it over and go again on this side. So both sides of the shirt get colored. That we've colored and saturated this shirt with our dye we're going to take it we're going to put it in the bag and we're going to leave it there for probably about a day and then because we want the color to soak into the shirt so we get some nice really vibrant colors all right so we're going to leave it in the bag and then in about a day or so you're going to take the shirt out you're going to wash it you're going to let it dry and there you go it will be done All right, here's the shirt one day after um, dying. It's really vibrant. I rinsed it in the shower with gloves on again so it didn't stain my hands. And then I put it in the wash and in the dryer. Um, light cycles by itself and it looks great. And I hope yours turns out just the same.